Hello there everybody, Dingle Crash here, and today we're heading into Ice Station Bandicoot. Now guys, pretty much today, this stage is a very um, similar to an old game, obviously. It, like a stage from an old game, which is Rings of Power from Crash Bandicoot 3. Uh, I'm not too sure if many of you would agree with me on that, but uh, that's what I think. That like this, this stage is very similar in a way to Rings of Power, since Rings of Power, uh, like literally, kind of it, it gives just the same th feeling. Even though you know Rings of Power was really one of those stages that was you know kind of like in in a, an open field area kind of stage but um, it, it's really awesome that it gives that vibe now if there's something I've never understood about this stage is why those hoops are made of steel like you cannot go through them they're not like invisible like how they were in Crash Bandicoot 3 which was like I was like huh why is it like that but you know um, that's the, that's the game, you know, that's <laughs> that's how it is, and uh, we will have to face that. And we've got one gem, and we've got the other gem, too! Woohoo! Yeah, we've got two gems at once, so that's gonna save us a lot of time. <laughs> now, for some reason, for me, it feels like the sixth warp room is really one of the easiest out of all of them, for some reason really odd reason because like um i don't know why but so far i've been getting like platinums <laughs> now i may I, I i will try to make sure not to jinx anything because i i'm known for jinkies so um I, i'm gonna try to watch my mouth uh, whenever it comes to that and hopefully we're gonna do well during this time trial because well this time trial is not all too difficult but it's not all too easy because, uh, well, obviously it's very easy to miss a box. Like, it's really easy to miss boxes uh, in this area, which can be very irritating at times. And um, I I'm trying to do this as careful as I could uh, because um, last time I practiced this stage, I was doing horribly bad. And I really do not want to repeat that again, and I want to actually do very well. Now, um, yeah, the, the, the difficulty of the six warp room seems really easy in compared to the rest of the warp rooms to me. And it's just like, I wonder why is it like that? Like, I really do. Like, I really wonder why is it that easy? And we've finished it. Let's see how we got the Platinum Relic. We've actually managed to get the Platinum Relic. That's awesome. And we actually managed to do this under a short amount of time. Because we've, we've finished the race in the first place. We've got the gem. I mean, the, the gem for the boxes as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So for <laughs> that's a good start. <laughs> that's a good way to end this Let's Play with a with like three or maybe more Platinums. <coughs> How much percent have we got? We've actually got 100%. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so, wow, this Let's Play. Woo. Either way, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a comment and your like and subscribe if you haven't. And in the next part, we shall see you at Solar Bowler. So thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye.